It has been the dankest, coldest April I can remember. In March, it felt like we were gonna have an early spring. March was totally teasing us because April hit. It's been raining, snowing, terrible weather for the whole month. I have not opened these hives in almost five weeks. So today, we are finally above 60 degrees. It's dry, there's no wind, and let's just jump into it. It is a nice warm day and there's a lot of activity in front of most of the hives, but there's actually no activity in front of the Carniolans. So a little bit concerned. Last time I was in here, the Cornelia hive was gone. The Carniolan hive was very weak. It, like I said, it has been a very rough month. This is the remaining bits of the cluster. And there's the queen right there. Live. She is moving. I mean, I honestly, I don't know what to do. You gonna wake up? Okay, I wasn't recording, but here's a summary of Balboa. Uh, this is completely jammed with solid honey frames all the way across. The last two frames are brewed. So let's just check out the queen. I just saw her. This is Balboa's granddaughter. She's immense. Just like her mama, grandma. I'm going to slide them over just a little and put some uh, honey on the outsides. Put the brood right in the middle. So this is a frame they're prepping for brood. Queen is on this frame. And that's just a frame of hatching brood. I'm gonna move some honey to the outside here. All right, Balboa's, you know, small but mighty. I'm taking off their sugar because they got plenty of food. Balboa is fine. I'm not gonna open the Russians, I'm just taking off the insulation. Lucy, hello. Small cluster. There is pollen coming in, so I'm seeing pollen getting packed in there. Oh, there's a couple eggs here. All right, there are a couple eggs on this frame. Just a few. They've got plenty of food. They've got some brood and they've got some eggs. I don't see a queen, but the other thing is this hive is very loud. So that's a little concerning. So much food in these hives from the whole winter. There's still food in here, lots of food. It's all nectar right there. Just a nice little cluster, you know, coming out of winter. These are outdoor bees, you know, they spend their, their, their winters outside and then when things just start to warm up in the spring, they, they come to life and they got this little, little cluster, a little patch of brood. Slow build, but doing everything right. Got a busy queen here. Where is she? Let our queen be on the outside. There's brood there. Tons of eggs. Where are you? Where's the queen? All right, I have not seen our queen, but that is a beautiful frame of brood and pollen right there. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them alone. They got food, they got brood, they got pollen. And I'm gonna put this honey frame on the outside. I wonder if our queen was on the inner cover. Oh, she is. She's right there. Look at that. Queen's up on the inner cover. Ha ha. You're not supposed to be up there. All right, that hive is just fine. That's going to grow really well. Beautiful looking queen there. This hive is wall to wall. There's our queen on the second frame I pulled. Right at the bottom. There's already drones in here. 
See, this hive is incredible. That's nuts. Frankie Hive liked the sugar. Plenty of food. There's their pollen frame. Look at all that pollen. All right, they're good on stores. Nice frame of brood there. There's, there's Frankie. Okay, they're, they got brood, resources, queens in there. Everyone looks great. I can feel heat through the Vivaldi board and actually it's very moist. The bottom is dry, the top is moist. That means the heat, is, the heat and the moist air is coming up, hitting the top cover and then dripping back into the, the burlap. So it's moist here, not, not wet. It's just, you can feel moisture, damp. This is dry. This is dry. Wow. Every time I've looked in this hive, I haven't even opened them up because I can see honey all through here and there's bees all the way across. So I just am assuming they're fine because there is so much honey. I can see honey right here. But I'm just going to pull a frame out and see. Just, just look. Plenty of stores. There's already drones in here. There have been a few rounds of brood already. And the queen is laying right back into where the brood hatched. So they're all up in the top. If you remember, I pre-swapped my hives in the fall. I put my mediums on the bottom and the, and the deeps on the top because I knew the queens would be up here laying. And if I had the mediums on the top, this would be a medium, a medium super filled with brood. So now she's up in the deep which is gonna get swapped back below. And I'm gonna just put the medium that's now on the bottom on top and then we're done. So much brood. This was my hive that swarmed three times last year. They're coming out of the winter way ahead of the game. Another frame of brood. That's four frames of brood. All right, I gotta come up with a plan to uh, have all my hives look like this in the spring. I gotta figure this out. There she is. There's Queen Adrian at the very bottom there. She's, she's in the channel in the bottom of the frame, walking across. And there's our pollen frame. Look at that. That's all pollen. That is all pollen. Look at that. That is my biggest hive. By far. All right, checking the nukes now. Some of these nukes have crazy activity and some don't have much. So, let's see what's going on. There's a lot of heat in here. There's a lot of sugar over here. This side doesn't have much sugar, but I'm, I'm a little concerned about the nukes running out of food because, you know, there's only eight frames in here. And some of these are very active and very busy. There she is. Uh, this was a swarm cell last year from Queen Adrian's hive, so they are doing fine. I just, again, I'm not sure about the food. That's a heavy... Oh, they got plenty of food in here. Okay, not worried about food. Both of these frames are, are honey frames, and we got a laying queen. That was a nice looking nuke right there. Very strong. They don't, they look fine in there. Lots of sugar. So that means that there's probably honey all through here because they've only come up to eat here. So that side looks just fine. Okay, not worried about this double nuke. Hey, you guys, uh, you guys see that right there? Cornelia. You know how Cornelia hive died over the winter? That was my hive, the one that died first. Well, this is a double nuke a resource hive in the back. And what I did last spring was the hive was looking packed and looking like it was gonna swarm. There were some swarm cells being made. So I took the queen out of there and brought her back here to this resource hive and left the queen cell in the other hive. 
That was a really slamming hive all last summer, but they did not make it through the winter. This is Cornelia. That was Cornelia's daughter. So let's see if Cornelia's in here. She was in here last month when I opened these up. So assuming she's in here, we are gonna be able to make another Cornelia hive because this is Mama Cornelia. This is, uh, originally she was called New Package Queen. They ate all their sugar, so let's see how they're doing on resources. Oh, they're just packed all the way down at the bottom. This is their pollen frame. Nice pollen stores in there. Got some drone cells, queen cups, no eggs up here yet. Whoa. We got a big queen cup in here. Holy cow, it's emerged. Look at that. This is the Cornelia hive, and that is an open queen cell, uh, a hatched queen cup. There was a queen in there that hatched. Wait, is it that thing right yeah, there? Yeah, that. That's where the queen came Whoa. out. Oh, well, there's a queen. All right, there she is. She's not mated yet, but there's definitely a queen right walking around right on the bottom of the frame. but she's not mated. So, yeah, I wonder if we had a swarm or it was a supersedure. But either way, there is an unmated queen running around in here. So, um, yeah, Cornelia, it looks like, is not around anymore, but there is another daughter. Um, I don't know where she's gonna mate because there's not a lot of drones out here right now. So, she's gonna just run around in there until there's some drones. I mean, there I did see a couple of drones in another hive, but something's up with this hive. So, all right, well, they have plenty of food and I don't see any brood, but you know, we got a weird situation going on in here. Weird situation. Holy cow. That hive is packed. Um, yeah, this is the a Singing Cedars Apiary Queen. So this is an overwintered Vermont Queen. And they look very slamming. This side didn't make it. This was a Carniolan... This was a Carniolan hive. They didn't make it. This hive's just getting robbed. It's just a resource hive for everybody else. This side is slamming. Okay, there's a lot of activity here. This side is dead, and this side is a singing cedar's queen with Cornelia uh, original uh, brood. Yep, that looks like a nice solid little cluster. They seem just fine. Okay, we'll leave them alone as they are. Plenty of food in there. I can see lots of lots of honey. Get okay. So we're just as we were last time. We checked these hives. All right, coming back to Carniole, and they haven't really moved. These bees. I'm gonna just let them rest in peace. Oh, there's the queen. She did move. Oh. She's there, they're attending to her. Shoot! I can't let them die. Okay, so a lot of weird things today. We did lose the Carniolan Hive. They were alive. I feel like they made it through winter and then they didn't survive the spring. They were a little weak coming out of winter, but we just, like I said, the last month has not been any good at all. It's been cold and raining 
there's just been nothing for them to forage. The last couple of days, we even got snow like two days ago, but the last couple of days there's, there's this warm trend, but we're just gonna dip again, and this whole week is not even gonna get above 50 degrees. It's just not a good time to be a bee right now. So overall, we have some really slamming hives. All the nukes look good. The nukes look better than a lot of the big hives. We lost two in the front, and the middle row is great, and the nukes are great. So we got a lot of bees here. I'm gonna bring this little nuke inside and give them a night indoors and see what happens. See if they come to life. They got plenty of food in there, I don't know. I'm just gonna give them some water, see what happens. Tell me what to do. <laughs> what would you do if you found a queen on her last legs with 20 bees huddled around her and they were definitely trying to tend to her? Tell me, tell me what you would do. I'm just gonna bring them inside and see what happens. So that's kind of it. Uh, the next week's gonna stink, but um, then things are hopefully gonna warm up. Then we'll be into May. And May is when things start up around here. So that's the news. Thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you when there is more bee news.